Hello, this is Mara Shin Smith with the Los Angeles County Office of Education. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this module, Representation Matters, Using Picture Books to Explore Activism, Black History, and Self-Confidence for Grades K-5. through Currently, we are at a pivotal time in our country's history as we re-examine racial and social justice issues and reevaluate current systems in place and their impact on our society for African Americans. I'm going to start with this quote by college professor and author Gloria Ladson Billings. All instruction is culturally responsive. The question is, to which culture is it currently oriented? Building a strong connection and relationship with our students is so important for learning to occur. Being intentional when creating a safe and open learning environment is imperative for all students, especially our African-American students, as we engage and discuss race and social justice issues. As educators, we have a responsibility for inclusivity for all of our students. The purpose of this module is to introduce some picture books to initiate the discussions around race and culturally responsive teaching. The three areas highlighted are activism, black history, and self-confidence. As teachers, many times we have students relating their own personal experiences with others, but we also have to acknowledge and celebrate our non-common ground. We have the opportunity to ask and reflect upon what are our differences and why are our differences important? All of the books highlighted in this module have YouTube read aloud videos that are available to view and share with your students. The read aloud links, along with suggested discussion points and resources, are available on a corresponding handout. Here are a few picture books that highlight our first theme, activism. Let the Children March is a story about black children who volunteer to march for civil rights in 1963 in Birmingham, Alabama. We March also focuses on a march during the civil rights movement in the 1960s. Here are some possible discussion points and questions for both younger and older students. Why do you think marches were so important to black people in the 1960s? Have you ever felt that you had been treated unfairly? Is there something that you would feel is worth marching or standing up for? What are some ways we can counter unfairness? Something Happened in Our Town is a book that was written by three psychologists. The story follows two families, one white, one black, as they deal with the police shooting of an unarmed black man in their community. Class discussions can center around the different feelings and reactions of the two families. Why do you think Josh and Emma's families reacted differently? What are the different experiences that may have impacted the reactions? Students can work in groups to brainstorm ideas that they have. Just as important is how students can learn from this book and show how to support someone who is not being treated fairly. In the story, Josh and Emma show their support for their new classmate. What would you do? Would you stand up for someone who is not being treated fairly? Here are a few books that highlight our next theme, Black History. Little Leaders, Bold Black Women in History, and Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History, are books both written by Vashti Harrison. Each book includes 40 biographies on well-known and not so well-known important black leaders. Rather than read these books in one day, the books can be read over a few weeks, focusing on just one or a few biographies each day. Students can compare these historical figures as they learn about their unique accomplishments. What was the adversity that these leaders had to overcome? Do you think it would have been different if these leaders were not Black? All Different Now, Juneteenth, the First Day of Freedom, and Juneteenth for Maisie, are two books that focus around Juneteenth, a holiday on the 19th of June, which commemorates the end of slavery in the United States. 
Students should have some background information about Juneteenth before reading the books to understand the importance of this holiday. The books can help illustrate the significance of this holiday for black enslaved families as told in All Different Now and what current celebrations may look like as in Juneteenth for Maisie. Teachers can ask students if they've heard of Juneteenth and if they haven't, why do they think that is? The Undefeated is a poem written by Kwame Alexander, which honors the black experience throughout American history. One idea that I like for older students is to project the words to this poem on a screen or on the board prior to students reading the book. Students can follow along to the reading of the poem. Ask students, what do you think this poem is about? Why do you think the poem was titled The Undefeated? What clues did you hear? Did you recognize any names in the poem? The last name in this module highlights self-confidence. Sulwe and Skin Like Mine focus on skin color and the importance and significance of it. Acknowledging differences in skin color is important because there are many societal implications based on it. Solwe focuses on a young girl who notices her skin color is darker than her other family members and how her family addresses that. Skin Like Mine talks about and celebrates the diversity in skin colors. Hair Love is a book and short film that centers around a young girl named Zuri and her relationship with her dad. Ask your students, why is Zuri's daddy having a hard time doing her hair? Have you ever watched a video on how to do something? Who normally does your hair at home? Hair Like Mine, Crown, and Ode to the Fresh Cut, and Cool Cuts are all books that focus on building self-esteem and celebrate the positive diversity of black hairstyles. Ask students, how is black hair different than yours? Students can draw on similarities and differences in their own hair texture, color, and style. All of the books presented in this module are to acknowledge that representation matters, and it matters a lot. Who can forget the significance and the impact of the picture of young Jacob Philadelphia touching President Obama's hair? The importance of a young black boy standing in the Oval Office and seeing himself represented in the President of the United States. This image will forever be etched in our memory and will always signify the importance of representation. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this module. There is a corresponding handout that references all the books mentioned, along with YouTube read aloud video links and additional resources to help with classroom discussions. As written by the great civil rights activist, John Lewis, we may not have chosen the time, but the time has chosen us. I truly hope that you found this module to be both useful and impactful in your teaching.